My dear friend, are you a patient person? What do others say about your integrity and self-control? Sometimes parents tell me how hard it is to be patient with their children. Spouses struggle with forbearance for each other as well. Pandemic times and the lockdowns only increased tensions in some families. That's why we need God's presence and grace in our lives. One of his qualities is perfect patience. God is patient without any limits because he is love. With his help, we can tolerate and respect one another and forgive each other when necessary. Seeking pardon from others and from God is very important. Not only forgiveness brings us peace and joy of heart, it prepares us for eternity. So it is a serious matter. We read in today's Gospel, unless you repent, you will all perish. Lenten season is a perfect time for making peace with God and our neighbor. He gives us this opportunity to be fruitful and, at the same time, warns us that if we are like the fig tree from today's Gospel that didn't produce any fruits, he will cut us down. God gives us a chance to produce good fruit while on earth. He patiently waits for our response and because He is love, He doesn't constrain us and doesn't determine our choices. Jesus is like the man from today's parable who looked after the vineyard. When the owner of it came and was looking for fruit on a fig tree planted among the vines but found none, he asked the gardener to cut it down. Some theologians say that the owner represents God the Father. The gardener, who stands for Christ, said, Sir, leave it one more year and give me time to dig around it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. Jesus takes care of us and wants us to produce good fruits in life. However, when the final judgment day comes, the Heavenly Father will deal with us according to our fruitfulness. Brothers and sisters, I would like to suggest to you to try to be more patient with others, but also with yourselves during this holy time of renewal. Take a time to improve your relationship with God and to offer to others the chance to change and grow. Pray that your Christian life will be truly fruitful. Thus, you will never be afraid of the visit of the owner of the land. He will certainly not cut you down but will offer you the fullness of joy in his eternal vineyard.